Hi folks, we're going to install a package here in this 10 frame deep. Uh, let me just walk you through it. It's a package of three pounds of bees and a queen and we'll go through it step by step. This is our package and in the middle of the bees there's a can of sugar syrup and the little queen cage is in there and we'll take that out first. And we've got our deep bottom board entrance reducer, our covers. I've got the entrance reducer on the, the three inch wide hole. And we have 10 frames. And five of our frames are drawn comb. And we're gonna put them next to the center and the other ones are going to be on the outside and they're just waxed plastic foundation on plastic frames. And we also have our sugar syrup. Then I'll need a hive tool to pry off this lid and I'm going to put my veil on. We don't need a smoker. For installing a package there's no need for a smoker. I also have a rubber band because I like a rubber band to put the queen cage on the frame. So pry off this small piece of thin wood with your hive tool. So that's the sugar syrup and that's the queen cage. And you just want to check to make sure the queen is alive and walking around in there. Just look through the screen, and she's fine. Sometimes it's hard to see her, but she's just the big one. So this is the candy that they're going to eat a tunnel through, this white stuff. So we got to take off this disc. It might be a little cork, like a tiny little wine cork, or it might be a metal disc. But what you got to do is expose the candy. There's a cork at that end too, but that's where the queen was put in. If you take that cork out, she'll come out quickly, and we don't want that. So we want the slow release of the bees eating through the candy, and that'll take about three days. And then all the bees will be used to her, and she'll be all friendly with them. So. The thing about putting the queen cage on, some people say vertical, some people say sideways. It really doesn't matter, but just make sure you don't put the screen against the comb. That would be bad. So I put it horizontal, and then I just put a rubber band on, and that's just that easy, as Dan Aykroyd would say. And it's okay if you smush some of the comb a little bit. It's not going to keep the bees from reaching her at through her screen and feeding her. So the next thing you do is get ready to pour them in. I'm going to put a few more frames in and I'm just going to leave kind of a wide spot right here for most of them to fall down in. And I'll put the last few frames in at the end. So when the can comes out there will be a hole here. So at first I'm going to Bop them on the ground so they fall to the floor of the cage. And then pry up the can with your hive tool. And then just kind of pour them out of that hole. It doesn't have to be violent or shaking it. In fact, if you're too rough, they actually roll right past that middle hole to the other end. So. A little more gentle is better. So they're almost all out there. And since it's a sunny day, I'm just going to put this right by the entrance and the rest will fly in or walk in. If it was cold, I would make sure all of them were poured in. Well, today is a, a flight day. It's warm enough for bees to be flying and usually that's like 55 or above 
So if it's that warm, it's okay to leave them right by the entrance. And they'll smell the rest of them and smell the queen and they'll get in there. I'm just filling out all the space with frames because you don't want to leave extra gaps or they will build comb in those gaps. And then we're going to give them a feeder. And close it up. I'm using this pale feeder, which is full of sugar syrup. So I'm going to flip it, not above the hive. I'll just flip it above the grass here. And a little bit will come out and it'll stop. Okay? And that will cover that hole. And I'm going to put another deep on here and cover it with the cover. Keep watching. that's it. That took about four or five minutes and I'm going to check them in three days to make sure the queen's out of her cage. And if she's not out of her cage, I'm going to pry the screen off that cage and hold it near the top bars and let her walk into the top bars and down in. And after that, about three, four days later, you should be able to check it and find eggs and you'll know everything is great. Thanks for watching.